how are we and what's the crack? So I got the idea to do this video while talking to my mate Guillaume, who's an amazing designer and goes under the name Echo Graphic. I'll leave a, a link down there so you can check him out. But uh, yeah, we were talking about asset making and uh, in particular different sort of textures like um, like grungy textures, uh, Xerox kind of cardboard, plastic. Plastic is very in right now. Um, and then sort of different mock-ups like uh, CDs and records and all. And uh, it just got me thinking like it's about time that uh, I should really overhaul my assets. And uh, you know, you can use free websites and uh, different um, stock sites and all, but you know, like it's so much better to have the real deal and have your own. So uh, yeah, today we're just gonna walk through the process of making your own kind of assets. Uh, gonna focus mainly on music related stuff and making mock-ups as well we might make a depending on how long the video ends up i might uh, run through making a couple of smart objects but that could also be a topic for another video on its own but uh yeah we may as well just dive head first into this and uh, see how we get on nice one right so i was digging through my uh record collection and uh, picked out a lot of things i thought would be interesting you know the shiny plastic wrap Plenty of 7 inches and 12 inches there. Might not do the 12 inches today because the scanner we have in the office is not big enough for them. But uh, yeah, plenty of CDs, demos, uh, you know, little uh, CD sleeves, different colored tapes, some cracked boxes, uh, cracked jewel cases, um, you know, just different things that I think might be cool to kind of like scan. Like, oh yeah, this one as well, it's like kind of a gray tape box. Um, just things with damage and, and kind of dirt and grime that's kind of built up over the years, you know. Um, so I've kind of taken out all these different color tapes here. I'm thinking I might just scan one or two of the colored ones and then um, make like a little smart object with like a, sh a hue kind of shifter that we can kind of change the colors on. But some of them have nice textures on them themselves. Um, you know, some might scan better than others. So I'm just going to do a test here now with a black one. Um, I'm thinking because the tapes are quite deep, they might not scan as well as, say, a CD or a record. So we'll just do a little, like, uh, test run here. So I'm going to scan this straight to a memory card. Um, you might have, like, an old Wi-Fi printer at home or something. But uh, we're making do with this one here. And uh, it's nice and handy. Just throw it straight over to the laptop. So I'm going to save this to card and then select uh, 600 DPI. I'm just going to test now. So I'm going to... Uh, just save it as PNG, but uh, going forward, we will make these uh, PDFs at 600 dpi, so they're you know about 10,000 pixels in width. So whack this onto the computer and have a little look. And yeah, kind of as I have worried or feared, there's kind of shadows on the edge. So I think for some of the deeper ones, I'm gonna use this black sheet. It's actually a black bag that I wanted to scan anyway because it's got a lovely kind of texture on it that kind of. Um, intrigued me but uh yeah i reckon this would be good for doing the, the deeper kind of objects and i'm gonna scan this and kind of have a look it, i have a feeling it's gonna be nice and half tone and that's kind of what i want i love half tones i love half tones and noise and uh if this yeah there we go i was gonna say if this works the way i want it to it'll be perfect for overlaying half tone look at that look it's so damaged and gritty so yeah i've shit tons of tapes uh, a few VHSs, a few CD jewel cases, some cardboard, you know. Uh, I'm just here kind of rooting through the um, the studio. I like this as well. It's got some nice cracks and damage. They're the ones I'm going to be looking out for the more I root through the, the stuff I brought in. Because um, that stuff's interesting. And yeah, look at that. That's exactly what I was hoping for. I scanned that on the black and it looks great. Oscars fans, some nice shiny um, iridescent looking stuff which we're going to scan as well because that will look cool and may as well <laughs> may as well like make some new t textures while we're at it so yeah I was also looking at these tapes I'm probably going to do another video where, where I make I, I need some new tape um, assets to work with anyway so uh, Oscar has a million different types of tape here different thickness, you know, plastic ones uh, masking tape it's all gonna be good on the topic of making more textures I figured if I just uh, take some of my old inlays especially the ones with a blank side I can scan them 
and I'm just like scratching them off the table to give them a bit more grit and grunge. Yeah, so I've taken out some shiny cardboard, some um, different damaged plastics, you know. This one is nice because it has this red seal on it, and you can still see the disc on it, so that's going to be pretty damn cool. Um, this also, it's like an insert, that's going to be real nice. I'm going to scan that on both sides so I can use that as a background for different designs, because um, you can see the disc on that as well. Also white ones here, this is a nice kind of texture as well that I'm going to use. So yeah, I kind of... I started digging and found too much stuff, if you get me. Like, look at all these. I'm going to use this disc label, because there's nothing on it, for all of the, the discs that I scan. Um, but look at these colors. Loads and loads of stuff. So, uh, yeah, look at this nice kind of color texture disc as well. So, yeah, plenty. Going to be at it all night, I reckon. Also, rest in peace, my friend. Could, could have been mummified for about 20 years for all I know. Some of these records are old. God bless. Also found this nice one, this uh, bizarro shape, which is really damn cool. Like, you know, the weirder things you have, the better. It's also February here in Ireland, and it's feckin' Baltic. Let's get that heater on. Ooh, what's this lad doing over here? Jesus, Oscar's after leaving me a box of tricks. Look at this. Gold mine. Gonna scan this bubble wrap, that'll be a nice texture. The blue one will be nice. The card will be nice as well. It'd be good to, to scan that and invert it. Uh, oh yeah, this is looking slick as well. Shiny bubbles. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, that is some good shit. So yeah, it was actually sheep wool that was in that bag and I took it out, so that's sick as well. I don't know if it's dirty or not, but I'm scanning it anyway. This kind of cloudy um, plastic is going to be sick as well. A few little baggies. Don't know what they're from. Probably strings. But yeah, it's looking uh, like I've got plenty. I really like to look at this one as well because it's, it's got some like yellow on it. Then this like weird little cloth, some more card with folds in it. It's going to look sick. Um, yeah, I just have too much here really. But this is what you should be doing. You should just find as whatever you want that looks interesting and just start scanning things in and seeing how it turns out like look how nice these look this is gonna be so damn good to like overlay on stuff just to kind of give your designs textures or even backdrops for logos whatever these mock-ups are gonna be real nice when i cut them out god i wonder there's just so many things in here that i could kind of texture Right, let's get over to the computer here. So I've opened Photoshop, right? And what I've done is I've opened the folder with all of my PDFs of all the, uh, the scans. And I've, I've just brought 10 of them into Photoshop. But I've made an untitled artwork that's just uh, A3 in format. So that's uh, about 4691 by 3508 pixels at 300 DPI. And that's gonna be our standard PNG that we're gonna like you know, start putting all of our assets into, and that's going to be the standard size um, for all of them going forward. So then I basically just start working through them. This is this takes a hell of a lot of time. I I'm pretty sure I spent a full weekend, you know, just going through these, but uh, it's so worth it in the end. Like it's it's really really nice when you have like a, a big pack of your own assets. I think I think in the end I had about. 200 or something and there's going to be a part two of this video as well where i made a lot of assets out of different types of tape and uh, india ink uh, textures of spray paints uh, you know diff different things like that but just to to run you through what i'm doing here with um, these uh, tapes and, and uh, records and different types of paper and, and, and texture the uh, music industry kind of assets what i did was i would go into the pdf and I'd unlock the, uh, the background layer and then I just cut out the uh, whatever the asset is so like sometimes I'd use the marquee tool if it was like a square kind of thing like that that bag there and then use the lasso tool to kind of like pick bit pick bits out then I would go into refine edge and just kind of like you know bring the edge in bring the softness up but also bring the contrast up because like you want the edges to be to be nice and smooth but but sharp because if if whoever is using these assets then wants to put a stroke or something on the uh 
on on the asset itself you know you want it to be nice and clean and like have no kind of like artifacts and kind of dots and stuff that can happen see here what i'm doing is i'm using the magic wand tool and just like grabbing the background but you can see a lot of kind of marching ants there kind of sparkling away that means like it's grabbing a lot of the texture of the background and if i was to just delete that there'd be loads of little like tiny dots that like your eye might not see but when you zoom in you'll see them and what we want to do is we want to get rid of all of them so i'm just going into refine edge there and um, basically just moving the edge in probably like 10 12 pixels ish uh, softening it and then whacking the contrast up so you know you're getting a nice kind of like clean asset of the bag another thing what i've done then is like every asset that i go through i'm gonna like notch up the contrast uh play with the levels especially in like the tape um cases and the cd cases you know the plastic ones i really want to bring out and and with these bags here i really want to bring out like a lot of the the shine and kind of dull down the black background because then when we have them it's just literally going to be a matter of like putting it over something and clicking like a multiplier screen and you're going to have a nice see through bag so here we can see i got through about 200 ish and um, loads of different types loads of different textures i was, I was scanning boxes and, and like rope and plastic and all sorts like but look how nice they all look like and that is just like a weekend you know it is a long process it, it is not um you know something you're just gonna do on a whim like you really have to plan this out but it is straightforward it is not hard and as you can see here like loads of these assets are really really damn cool looking and loads of the textures turned out really cool as well so i plan on making as i said there's gonna be a part two of this video where i'm going to go through making some more tape and kind of different um, tricks for like getting textures with paint and all but i think i will then make possibly a video where i actually use some of these assets to make uh, like a cd cover you know like that kind of like cool kind of gnarly looking trap style um, and it's a lot in metalcore a lot and stuff as well like but um i'll run through it and i'll show show you a few different tricks on how to use these assets um as I said, I might also make uh, a few smart objects. I'm not sure. I might. Um, if people want me to, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, nice one. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please give me a like. I'll get subscribe. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. I've got a few more, few more videos uh, lined up. And uh, I'm really enjoying these. So I'm looking forward to making the next one. I hope you're looking forward to watching it. Right. Peace out.